just called me. He said he's on his way to this place. Which Toby? <laughs> and how did he know that we are in our maternal home? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's on his own. And he's probably coming to see you. Huh? <laughs> that guy is a coward. Half of half of what a real man should be. Keke, that's too harsh. That's mean. See, Soma, I'm not me. You know I always say the truth. So, what is a woman's safety with a man like that? A man who cannot defend her before other women? Assuming his friends decide to be mean and say ill words about my sister, he will yield to the advice and kick her off without even having a second thought. Sometimes. Good, radiant girl. Thank you very much. So, can we? Teresa, this is the second time we are discussing this, and I will re not repeat myself anymore. Respect Ozobia for who he was and what he had always been. Go back to his house and complete the traditional rites as custom demanded. Papa, I am not going anywhere. Papa, I'm wearing a bench. <laughs> Papa, if you know what my daughters and I went through in the hands of those wicked and diabolic elders, you won't advise us to go back. Papa, Biko, Biko, just wrap one here, baby. You should realize that Osobia was a kind and respectable man. In this family, we have respect. For traditions, we do not flout it. Please, listen to me. Go back there and complete the rites. Ask their custom demands. Papa, I'm not going anywhere now. I'm not going anywhere. This is my father's house. I will stay here until the morning period is over. Hey. Then we will go back to the city. Wait. Papa, or is it possible? Uh, stubborn, stubborn. Since, since you were born, you've been like this. No change. Papa, I obviously took after someone. That I'm looking at. Hi. But Grandpa, uh, those people are diabolic and fetish. Tell me. They could cause harm to mom and us. Mm -hmm. It was only God who saved us the last time that we went there. They will cause no harm to you. If you are afraid, I will personally take you back to them. Ah. Yes. Superman, Papa. You will take us back. And you think if I go back there with you, they will beat me? Did you hear what your granddaughter called you? Grandfather. Colombia. So Saka Yakwa Yakato. Papa leave that matter. We're staying here. Okay. We're staying here. Papa. Papa. Papa, talk to me. Please, calm down first. Papa, I don't want to calm down. What happened? What am I hearing? My story is a long story. Let's get inside first. I will explain to you. I will talk to you later. Papa, you are not going to come back. Given them, what happened? Don't worry, my son. I am not your father telling you. Let's get inside first. Come on. Come on. Hmm. I'm 
sure this happened when we left for mom's place. These people are asking for trouble, obviously. But why don't you wait for mom and grandfather to come back before alerting the police? This is obviously Osuji's handwork, and I'm not scared of his vices. Hmm? And this is grandfather's fault. So I suggest he stays here with us throughout this fetish period. Come on, why are you agitating fearfully? Hey, babe. Come on, this is nothing compared to what you saw way back in school. <laughs> when your classmates or roommates receive threats such as this from courtists, they relax. Uh, nothing. This is nothing. This is not nothing. breaking bottles or using guns. This is diabolic. This is fetish. Or your team, nothing. Please don't touch anything. Leave them the way they are. I'm so. What? Where's the vibe? Where's the vibe? I don't know. Maybe she's somewhere praying. Oh, she tries to sanctify the house. <laughs> Didi! Divine! Divine! We have come here to have peaceful conversation with you because of the respect we have for our son-in-law and two because of the respect we have for tradition. We have not come here to seek favors from you. So do not act as if we come to beg you for money. Because you have nothing to offer. Ichi, don't speak to us with such disrespect. Respect is reciprocal. <laughs> uh, uh, your daughter here has violated our customs on several occasions. She flattered our tradition. She has no respect for any of us. What, what are we supposed to do as elders? We did what you're supposed to do. If you have presented your rights decently and in a responsible manner, my daughter here would have performed all the rights as your custom demanded. <laughs> but you did otherwise. And it is obvious that you have a hidden agenda. Niche, enough is enough. I hope you did not come to our village here to insult us. You did not come here to insult us. I will not take it. <laughs> Eh? We, 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 are, we are not here so that you will pour all your anger on us. Enough is enough. We are only respecting your age. Mazi, we brought her back here because of the respect of your family. Allow her to leave. Rapi go Uh-uh. I will not take a candy from you people. If anything happens to her, to any of them. I shall help you hold it. Is that a threat or what? You may call it a threat, but it's not a threat. It is a warning. You are warning us in our house. It changed. Mm -hmm. Are you going to beat me? Enough is enough. Mm -hmm. This maker. Mm -hmm. So you told that you come for peace. You come here. You, you, you <laughs> actually came for what? You see it? Mm -hmm. My father, like daughter, no wonder. Can, can, can I like a sorry? Eh? Yeah. What? No wonder. You should do the right thing. Huh? Let's say you are half daughters. Is that the way you treat your daughters? Papa. Ada, hey, stand up, stand up, stand up. Let's go. Oh, we can't take this rubbish. Oh, 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 in fact, why would such a meeting even hold in my absence? Why? Okay, I know what to do. Thank God they announced their arrival. Thank God they announced their arrival because the war has just begun. I'm coming. I know what to do. Face. Your mother thinks she can kill my own brother and go scot free in this village, okay? You can leave me alone. I didn't do anything to All you. Right. No. I will bother you here and now. 
Mais si je suis un peu de temps, je vais me faire un peu de temps. Je vais me faire un peu de temps. Je vais me faire un peu de temps. Je vais What kind of rubbish is this? I didn't mean it. I just think I should go and talk back to my problem. And I moved it to him. He arrested me. He blamed us for his brother's death. And he said I don't want to blame for him. What? He can touch you. That boy needs to be treated psychologically. He's losing some nuts already. And he needs therapy. <laughs> and that will get for quit as soon as possible. Oh, Suji and his good love. Why would that boy lay his filthy hands up upon my baby? Eh? What kind of nonsense is this? You are pushing me to the wall, oh. If I do my own, now people will say that I've started again. They shouldn't even push me to the wall. They shouldn't try it. What kind of nonsense is this? Mom, it's okay. This is not in fact. I know you're filled with rage with him, but let's handle this, please. Why? He needs to be taught a lesson. DK needs to be taught a lesson. Mom, please. We don't need to confront the fool. He's just a ganja driven idiot. And he will just do about anything to have his way. We need to use our brains. You sound scared, though. What you say? Nah. I think Divine needs to warm back and some massage. Please take her inside. I'll give you a light massage after you have done. He has tossed the con. And we'll play it just like that. First thing in the morning, we'll place a call to the police. And we'll present Unjokwa and Usuji as a prime suspect of the last break in. We'll tell them they assaulted our little sister, they made away with her phone, and some other things, you know. Doesn't it sound convincing? It's not good. What are you saying? What do you mean? Mom, we'll would have to capitalize on the police investigation from the last report. Tiki has just willfully submitted himself as a culprit. So, what, what are we going to do? Everybody knows he's a criminal, so we don't need to add too much story to it. It will pass. Hmm, how do you make this new convince me? Thank God for your quick response. So, what happened? Sir, she said she was in the living room surfing the internet on my laptop mm -hmm. when it just happened like that. So he made away with the laptop, her phone, some jewelry, documents. I hope she's okay. Or oh, is she injured? Sir, he hit her so hard on the cheek. God. Held her neck so tight he almost strangled her. So, where is the young girl? We would like to see and speak with her. Um, she's inside, although she's asleep. Right. Maybe you should call her. Yes, please come in, sir. Alright. Maybe we should go ahead and wake her up. No, 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 please, please. Oh, officer, please don't wake her up. This girl just slept off now. Officer, you, you know what? Tomorrow she will come to the station and lay whatever complaint. Why don't you just continue with the investigations at first? No, 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 she's right. She's right, we understand. She can come over to the station when she's fit. But for now, we'll go ahead with 
our investigation at the residence of the suspect. Oh, please excuse us. Oh, thank you so much, officer. And see them all. Thank you. Officer, sir, do you know that this could belong to the criminal? Yes, of course. We will take this along and see what it brings. It's an exhibit. You are a witch. Was that why you took a foot of that man's pants? <laughs> oh. Do you think I was joking? I'm not here to explain. That was very, very thoughtful of you. But my only problem now is to find You know how truthful she can be. I don't know who they are and get us so. The vine has dare not mess this up. But I will kill her with my bare hands. Well, I pray they should not just invite her to that police station to go and give any statements. Now, girl, can you tell her what to say? Don't worry. Who is making that noise there? Huh? Why are you disturbing our peace? Young man, bring down your voice. Don't tell me to bring down my voice. What are you doing here? Bring down your What's voice. That? What are you doing here? Why are you people here? Young man, bring down your voice while speaking to a law enforcement agent. Or the police, what do you want? We are here to search these premises. For what? Search where? Okay, where is your search warrant? Huh? Where should search I be warrant? your search warrant? Show yeah. us your search warrant! By the way, who owns that slippers? It's my slippers, also. 
Where is the second foot? Can you imagine that? Why, why demanding that? I see him as stupid ah. in my father's house about the silver. Show you me the second foot! Is it your business? What's your business with my silver? Leave my silver alone. Hey! Is this the second foot? Yes. Young man, you one. are under arrest. What? Yes. For breaking into Ozobia's house. No, listen. What's it? Like, you're not missing. Well, this is your friend. There's a mistake. Don't say anything. Don't it's say anything. Or it will be used Ma against you in the court of law. Something is wrong somewhere. My son is innocent. My son is innocent. What's that again? Oh, damn it. I said that you don't understand. You're, you're, you're. Now move it. Officer, move. Listen. Move. Move. Okay. Move. 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 That was careless to go to their house. Didn't you advise DK not to touch the lioness tail? You know how smart Teresa and those are daughters can be. Eh? Come on. No matter what they can do, I will surely deal with them. I will deal with them one by one. Could you imagine that that, that rat, that small rat, lied against my son in the police station, thereby increasing the trouble loads on my son? Hey. That little one. Hey. These are those, those are crooks she called daughter. But I don't... Uh... It, it don't work. Oh, it's okay. Let me go and look for money to release my son from the south. Then later they will know who I am. If you get the money, whenever I want to go, come here, I will be ready to go with you. Eh? But what do you know? Hey, there is a... Because I told him that those three notorious girls and their mother are crook and corner. You can imagine what happened to you. cannot compare to what happened to your brother and what we, your family members, went through because of Teresa and her three notorious daughters. You can imagine how they took us on our way. If I'd been that you and I are not careful, these women could have bundled us overnight. By tomorrow morning, we got ourselves in a ship to Cameroon. I've seen it. Hi. My son. My woman and I'm trying to protect her. Protecting your woman, my food. You think embarrassing her on the street in the public is how you protect your woman? I mean, you have to learn. Women are made to be treated with so much love and care. Not treating her this way. She deserves more than that. Look at a beautiful girl like this. You're treating her this way and you call her your woman. God. Please just go now. Go. Leave me alone, please. No. It's not over yet. I will not let you know. Sorry, yeah. Hope you didn't wound her. Yeah, thank you. So sorry, yeah. 
And some men really need to learn how to treat a woman. Mm. I love it when women are being treated the right way. Many of you women are like egg and should be pampered. Sorry, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But who are you? Um, my name is George. Oh. George Iluno. Oh, I'm Natalie. Natalie. Well, I think I know already because um, I've been seeing you around a couple of weeks now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to hurry up to the site. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would love to see you again. Okay. So where do you stay? Um, directly opposite the secondary school. Secondary. Okay. The secondary school. Now. Okay. Okay. That okay. One. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll come around one of these days and see you. Okay. That's good. So I have to hurry up to the side now to meet up with workers. Okay. Come Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Papa. Papa. I slept in the police cell because of those stupid girls. Oh, this is the height of it. I will deal with them one by one. I will deal with them one by one. I will pay them back in my own coin. I'm a cargo kukumba. I'm a cargo kukumba. Okay, I know what to do. No, don't worry, I know what to do. Okay. Mom, it's getting late and I'm a bit worried. What if he changed his mind and went back? You know, some very careful people would not want to miss the right route to find themselves in the midst of nowhere. The worst of it all is his number is no longer connected. And he's a stranger here. Calm down, Sonia. He'll find his way here. He'll probably ask around and get directions. Ah. Are you going to stay out here and wait for him all day? Oh yeah, let's go inside. Go inside and wait, people. So all of you were sitting here waiting for the man to before I lost network. That name should be from Amako here. And Amako here is like seven villages from here. My God. Yeah, you have to drive like two hours. Two hours drive? Yeah. Oh my God. This journey is so stressful since morning. 
seven villages again. Okay, thank you very much. If you waste time here, go to us for land. Something must have held him up. Alright? Should I now accept that as a reason for the disappointment? First of all, his number is not connected. When I can't reach him, we we're not communicating. Not to worry. Everything happens for a reason. It's getting late already. Soon night will come and then the next day. Then we'll know exactly what happened. Okay? I'm sure you'll get in touch. Mom, I'm just going to go and try. I want to be here by myself. You want to go and brood and think and I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. What well, love does to my daughter? <laughs> Take care. You want some of my drink? Okay. Start. I don't know what to do next. Are you serious? Yes, sir. I've tried all I could. Nothing's working. Uh, so, what's your next plan? Uh, I'm just waiting for the night to fall more than this, then I will roll up the gun and sleep inside. Huh? You want to sleep here? I have no other choice. God forbid. You know, now, I wouldn't even advise my enemy to try that. This place can be very, very dangerous and deadly at night, so don't even try it, okay? Really? Uh, but I have a place where you can see. Uh, but the place, you see, the place is somewhere. They have all these uh, shower girls there, and they still have good accommodation. If you want to eat a wheat on your own, you still want to just sleep, they have nice places to sleep. My brother, my brother, with my condition, I just need you to put my hair. I don't need anything. Yeah. In that case, I'll send someone to you. Yeah, I'll send someone to come and take you there. Just wait, eh? I'll send someone to you now, eh? Be careful. Okay. I'm going to go to you. I'm going to go to you. I'm going to go to you. Oji kwa tochi na ka Maka nchaba ni ebi nego kwa I know guri, I know guri Listen, listen and listen carefully This is a lifetime deal Don't mess it up, Oji, I'm warning you Don't mess it up Are you hearing me? I swear if you mess this deal up I will kill you Yes Now listen Yes, me, yes. What are you giving me? Look, what is this? I'll give you with cash, drinks, even girls. But make sure you don't disappoint. Just deliver first, okay? Go now. But give me the money. Don't worry, just go first. Don't disappoint. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. I'll give you the money. Don't mess up. Get it, get it, get it.
here for any immoral activity. Immoral what? It must be... Oh, look, I'm not here for this. Madam, I need a... Another phone call here. Sumadina! Elvis, you came! What are you doing in the brutal? What? What? Did you just call my home a brothel? <laughs> Are you? Huh? <laughs> Elvis, this is not a brothel. This is my home. This is my mom and my sister. I've been expecting you. What is he talking about? Don't tell me you and your mother run a brothel. Shut up. Shut up, I said. How dare you walk in here and call us prostitutes? Come, is this the young man named Elvis you've been waiting for? This foul-mounted human being! Eh? But Elvis... Don't come anywhere close to me. Are you crazy? Samatina, where in the world did you get this, this human being from? I wonder. Elvis, if this is a brothel, then what are you doing here? To pick up a prostitute for a one night stand? Look, I came to book a room where I will pass the night. I'm coming here to see all this. Elvis, what has come over you? Look. The most painful thing in my life is to come to my fiance's village to find out that she and her family are all prostitutes. What? Elvis, uh, please, I don't know whosoever would have said this to you. Maybe calm down. You uh, listen to me. me. I don't want to have anything to do with you and your family. Get out of here! Get out of here! Shut up! Listen, if you take one more step, you'll be out tonight. You come back to your human being? Come that guy is an otondo. Eh? It, it says this human being for him to come in here and call us prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Mommy, Elvis is not like this naturally. Elvis is not like this natural. No, no, can't call him. Naturally, he's not like this. Mm -hmm. Must you have a boyfriend? Hey. Exactly. He used to be the smartest. I thought he was smart, but obviously. Elvis, why? Elvis, why? Because we're trying to find a guy now. Crying. Men aren't worth your tears. You don't have to put up with all this now. <laughs> you of all people. You should have known that probably a hater or someone must have said something stupid about us to him. You know, you obviously. Just like they did with Toby. And it worked. It's only an indecisive and it's less confident person that will do something like this. Hi. He was supposed to have listened to you and not just draw conclusion from what he heard. But why do we always meet men like this? Eh? Men that would rather believe what other people say about their ladies than who they really are. Hi. Come on, just let it. It's okay. But wait, what was it with the, the news of breakups up and down here, here and there? What was all this? Gosh, I'm getting tired of every day breakups, breakups, heartbreak. Hey, wait, though. What if DK or his father is behind this? You might be right. You know what's right. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All I need is your commitment to carry out this job. 
We don't need to be traced. We don't need to be suspected. I know I can't do it. Fine. We'll start when it's your time of the month. Like your monthly period. You know, with the blood and all that, it will be a whole lot easier to convince people that you are truly raped. <laughs> You're making a face. Young lady, it's a dirty job. It takes only filthy ideas to carry out vengeance. Deal or no deal? Deal. Yeah. Good. So, you give me a call when it's your time of the month, like when you start your period. Okay? Okay, I will. Alright. You can go now. Thank you. You shouldn't be doing this. Why don't listen to me for once? Give me that privilege, please. Such privileges don't exist. I hate seeing you around there. Please let me go. You, you know how much I hate being stopped. Don't treat me like I never existed in your life. We once had affections. Which you trampled upon. Huh? You crushed it and bade it farewell the minute you totally undermined me and my sisters. No, please. Let me go. And I refuse to let you go. Just let listen, me go. Listen, listen, listen. We, we can fix things up. We are meant to be together. Please. For the last time, let me go. Let me go. Yes. You shouldn't be surprised that I did something like this. Once a notorious woman is always a notorious woman. Now please, stay away from me and let me go! I want you to walk into the scene of the incident and then I will place a call to the police. Immediately I'm done with the call, I will leave and you can take it up from there. Is that okay? okay. When you're done with this, you take her to the local pharmacy. The young man there knows what to do. Okay. At the end of this whole drama, your story will be that the young girl is afraid of stigmatization. And she has gone to the city to do with her parents. Something like that. Okay, madam. You don't have any cause to worry, okay? I will do just that. And I'll be very pleasant. And you should dress like a mother would. So everything will fall in place. So see you. I'll have your money in class. Officer, please, there's been a rape incident in the neighborhood. Mr. Osuji's areas, to be precise. Yes, at, at Ogwe village. Sadly, young girl has been brutally raped. She's, she's been thrown out of the house. Yes, sir, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
son. Any problem? Where is your son? My son is inside sleeping. We want to see him. You want to see my son? Yes. Open the gate. You don't know what I'm talking. By the time I finish with you, you be girls, you will know that I or should you is a man. Jesus Christ, prison. You people must be punished. You must pay for the punishment. Just watch and see. Trust me, I'm innocent. I know you now. Dika, I know you. <laughs> so this whole thing was a set of passwords? Of course. But why if I'm asking? Listen, I said I'm innocent. Don't you trust me? You've known me for years. I didn't. <laughs> Do you have any problem with anybody? No. So who could be behind all this? And I'm very confused. Yeah, the DK I know can be stubborn. Not a rapist or any. You understand? No problem, DK. Just relax. Stay here, it's just for a minute, okay? Do yes. everything possible to make sure you come out of this place. Uh -uh. I feel your people. Everything will be fine. Oh, yeah. Randolph, I'll go back to your cell. Just down, okay? Come down. If you know this man here, he's not meant to be here. That was a clean deal. Nice one. <laughs> the so called parents of the victim refused to press charges because of stigmatization. <laughs> <laughs> that was a brilliant response you gave to the police. Are you guys good to go? Yes, sure. Um, here's a little something for your extra effort. Thanks a lot, I appreciate this. Thank you. Alright then, you guys take care.
and forge ahead. Okay, forget about what happened. Let bygone be bygone. We have better things to talk about. Please. I mean, we are your men. We are here for you, okay? Come on. And DK, I think your year is right. You know, just let yesterday go. Today is a new day. Start a fresh. Just forget them. Forget them. No, I won't. Oh, God. Those girls are annoying. They feel special and on top of the world. I want to ridicule them. I want to bring their pride down. I want to set confusion in their midst. Listen, I have a good plan. All I need is your support. So, how do you intend to do that? Good. You will play the is it not son of Chief Williams or Zobia? And you will play the character of a good city. They are desperately in need of men. So one man can cause confusion in their midst. Yeah. I think um, it's becoming interesting. From the storyline, it's the game will be fun. I'm in. <laughs> Come on, my man. We'll do anything for you. Once that will bring you joy. Jesus name. Amen. 
Father Lord, we cover this with the precious blood of Jesus. Blood Father, of Jesus. We don't get to know what this signifies. But Lord, please, it will never harm us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Didi, you just finished praying. Come to the task. Okay. There is to watch. Just that. You can smell from me. To my heart trunk. So mad. So Elvis finally came back to the same From GE. The secret of man. So my don't collect this thing. No. There's nothing good that can come out from this village. Don't accept this. You have already prayed now. What are you afraid of? If you don't need it, please, I need it. Thank you. 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 Throw it away. Yeah, I have a wrist one. Yes, it is. Please, who are you? May I help? Uh, actually, I am Allah McDaniel Zubia. Zubia's first son. And um, I was out of the country when I got the news and uh, information got to me that he has been... Please, I don't, I don't understand you, mister. <laughs> Just spoke Greek, right? <laughs> so why is that not understand? Well, um, my father gave me this address before he died and um, I came to pay my respect to his family. And uh, yes, he has never been married to my mom. I will not claim he has. So can I come in? No, please. I don't know you or your fabricated stories. Who are you? <laughs> I told you where I am already. Listen to me, mister. I don't know you, okay? And let all secrets be gone. Please leave, I don't know you. Well, I will back when the lawyer gives me a call. I'm really not going to sleep. I have a nice day. He never mentioned it to us. I was shocked when this guy said this to me. I was very shocked. He was so bold. You see the way he walked in. I don't want to believe this. 
I don't want to believe it. Can you imagine? That doesn't have a company for Harcourt. That sounds so short, sure, man. Was it not just a few weeks before he died that he told mom about the next state he named after her somewhere in Niger? So, but could it be possible that that house and the retirement son we don't know? I don't want to believe this. Has mom seen this? No. I decided to tell you girls first because she might have a heart to ache. Let's get mom out of this. Recently, I noticed she's been battling with depression. I look into this. This is a I can't believe this. I can't. Somebody I want you to meet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. He's such a nice person. He's so handsome. You're going to love him, you see. Mm -hmm. Trust me. <laughs> so, who is this so nice, so whatever? Don't worry, that wants to meet me. Yes, you will. He's nice. Mm -hmm. You will. Okay. <laughs> so, so. Okay. We're here now. This is me from my secret of Mary, George. Yes, we just met. With my asking him to come meet and greet you, doesn't make me cheap, does it? I've not said that, have I? You have, though indirectly. When he asked, I couldn't say no anymore because this is the third time he's asking. No. Please try and be nice to my friends, you know. Well, I was nice to him. But you know what? Look, all the things you've just said don't make sense to me. My problem here is that you meet a guy. You bring him home to meet your folks. Fine. And then you break up. Then you bring another guy. Introduce him to your folks. And then it goes on and on. Come on. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Oh, so Margina, how are you? What is the gift it's called? <laughs> it's a package from my secret admirer. I feel like I met him. I see. Hey, please stop. How can you be so careless? Huh? You don't open gifts from unknown sources like that, please. Mom, it's not a bomb. Stop being apprehensive. Keep it quiet. I'm not being apprehensive. I'm just being careful. Sorry, my bad. But it's just a package. To my heartbeat and strength, Natalie. Mm -hmm. Natalie? Who sent it? George Eluno GE. George, hello. George, it's me. 
Good day, madam. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Mm. 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 Me? Where are you from? You know what? Why don't you tell me about us? Oh, okay, ma. Um, I'm from Delta State. That is much. I studied sociology and I'm self employed. I come from a family of five and I'm the first son. See? That's good. Mm -hmm. Bye. How did you get this? Such audacity. May I remind you, you're talking to the heir apparent of Chief Zobia's profession. And may I now see my father and his wife? What do you want to see her for? My dear, I want to have a one on one conversation with her. A word of advice. That's the dog. Please use it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go on, Dami. What's going on here? Why is the argument? Who are you, young man? My madam, if you're interested to know who I am, Allah McDaniel Ozobia, the CEO of MD Ozobia's group, for that point. Which Allah? What are you talking about? I am the heir apparent. Who sent you here? Who paid you to come here to become a mischievous idiot? My madam, you've forgotten something. I have a strong father and son relationship with my father and he can never deny me what is rightfully mine. Mm -hmm. Which I have come to possess. Please, what? See mother, see mother, please hold that, hold that, hold that. Mom! Mom! Mommy! Mommy, please. Mommy! Leave oh. this place! Get out of here! Go on, get back down. Oh, mommy! Mommy! It was a set up. It was organized by Dick and his friends. Uh, what? Did he set this whole thing up with his friends? I didn't yes, I overheard George speaking on the phone with DK. Even though they, they, they regretted be, be, being part of the evil act. Are you saying they did all this to smile us and to place us on the edge of this world? They did it on purpose to set us on the edge of ruin us. Oh, DK, that small brat. Saturated with all the challenges so far. Oh, we should go. Yeah, we should. We should. Oh, mom, we can come my I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good 
are you doing here this early? I slept in this place last night to be here this morning so that when Soma wakes up, I will be the first person she will see. Please call her for me. Soma? So, Som? Please come. Please don't walk away. I'm truly sorry. Look, I'm sorry, Summer. Summer, please. Please. Show me sign if your relationship has this good chance. Please. Look, Summer, I don't care what anyone think or say. I'm truly sorry. Please. I know my reaction the other day was so spontaneous and unthoughtful, but I am begging you, forgive me. Forgive me, Summer. Come on, Summer, come on. I'm sorry. Please. I didn't need God. 